Welcome back to the Opry Show on Aspen 82. We are back at Ajax Tavern where we have some overflowing truffle fries and my good friend Nick Rodan, the face of American Polo and uh, basically an Aspenite these days. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hanging out summers, here a lot. winters, uh, you know, I try to spend as much time as I can. Um, you know, and, and the fact that we get to play polo here is even a bonus. So, pretty amazing. I want to get to the World uh, Snow Polo Championships. I want to talk about your fall first. I know you're doing some traveling. How did that go? Yeah, traveling was good. I mean, um, I started off. We had a long summer. I was in Europe for most of the summer, then finished the summer here in Aspen. Um, and I did I did a little bit of work with my organization, the Brook, um, which is uh, it's a foundation. It's a it's the largest equine welfare organization in the world, and they're based in London. And they just they just brought over. Um, a, an entity that's going to be working in the United States and uh, I got to travel firsthand to Guatemala and kind of see what they do which is a pretty cool experience so um, yeah it was a and let's talk about that a bit. So the Brook, very cool organization. Yeah. Um, you guys obviously uh, use horses and thoroughbred ponies, uh, right. you know, in your day-to-day life with your work. But there's also people around the world that use donkeys, mules, horses in their day-to-day life. Right. So what is the Brook, Brook trying to do? So I mean, so Brook approached me a year and a half ago about, you know, obviously doing work with them. And, uh, you know, for me, it was a no-brainer because it's sort of something you guys can relate to. Right. You know, for me, animals or horses in general are, are my, like, you know, they they bring me, you know, they're, they're my workhorse, right? right? And they're the ones that bring me home and they're the ones that feed me. And, uh, you know, I saw what the Brook does, you know, these are, these are families that depend, these are the, in, in the poorest countries in the world and they depend on these animals and, uh, for, for food, for travel, for, um, for transportation, for forms of, of work. Uh, so, you know, without the healthy animals, the, you know, these families can't live. So, um, it was sort of a no brainer for me and, um, you know, and I'm, we've, We've done two events now, one in Palm Beach, we're doing one in London, and uh, it's been a, it's been great. So Very, very cool, great, great way yeah. for you to give back. Yeah. Um, let's talk World Snow Polo Championships. Yeah. Uh, what's it like to come here and play on the snow? It's a completely different nah, world, totally, obviously. Totally different experience, but also a great experience. You know, you're in Aspen, um, you know, one of the most beautiful places in the world, I'd say. Uh, the skiing's great, you know, there's just a lot of activities to do, restaurants, it's just a fun, it's a fun week to be here, and you get to play the snow pole, the World Snow Polo Championship, which is a huge bonus. Um, and this you know. is so cool, it takes place downtown Rio Grande Park. Yeah. What's different uh, about this sport than the summer sport and the sport you play the Well, obviously round. you're playing on the snow, which is yeah. totally different. The field's going to be a lot smaller, and there's uh, three players on a team instead of four, so. Um, but for the most part, it's the same rules. Uh, the game, it's, it's a really fast-paced game in, a, in, in closed in quarters, so the spectators get to really experience like the, the actual game. Um, so this year we're actually, you know, we have two, four really tough, tough teams. Um, St. Regis, Audi, Flexjet, and, um, and what was the other one? Uh, I can't remember. But I can't remember either. Yeah, anyway. Icon, uh, Icon Global, is that right? No, 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 I think in, in Aspen Valley. Uh, which is the, the, oh, main, the, the polo, polo club here, yeah. But, um, you know, we got some of the best polo players in the world, and we're excited to be here, so. So cool, and it's a big orange ball. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Is there anything different uh, for the horses? I mean, we see people that come to town, I'm among them, that can barely walk around in this snow. How right. are the horses performing well, this? Well, we, they, they have cleats on the back of their shoes, gotcha. so which, which, which helps them to grip, which is uh, obviously really important, because if not, they'd be sliding around. Um, but for the most part, they're the same horses that we play on horse in, on like on, on a big field in, right. during the summer. So, um, you know, it's going to be the, the, the competition is going to be great. We actually we were able to extend the field a little bit bigger this year, which is great, which will speed it up. And, um, you know, we're excited. Talk yeah. about polo as a sport. Uh, I know you're involved in getting young people involved in the sport. Yeah. How, are, how have you seen it grow over the last couple of years? Um, I mean, I think we're, you know, we're starting we're starting to get a lot of attention. Uh, I think it's a really cool sport. It's a great spectator sport. Again, you know, I think it w there was a bit of a lack of education, um, which you know we're trying to emphasize as much as possible. But uh, you know, we're growing. And we're growing, and it's a cool sport, and it's fast-paced, and it's a lot of fun to watch. Very cool. You're yeah. here for um, the championships. I know you like Aspen too. Have you Love gotten it. up and skied? Yeah, two days ready. What else do you do while you're here? Um, I skied. I tried to snowboard yesterday. That was not good. <laughs> <laughs> that was not switching pretty. it up. Huh? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. It looks so much fun, and I surf and skateboarded. So. Um, you know, it, it's difficult. Yeah. And uh, but skiing's a lot. That's know. risky, right? Before going it, into the it championship is. You know, I, I did it, and I was like, you know, I don't know if I should be doing this, but it, we, we had a good time. I, I, I luckily I didn't fall, which was good. So excellent. Um, but you know, we're just uh, we got a great group of guys here, a lot of fun dinners, and we're just here to have some fun. Excellent. Great to see you. World Snow Polo Championships taking place uh, Rio Grande Park. It's always a blast. Help yourself to some truffle fries. Sure. Thank we're back you. with a lot more on the Opera Show right after this. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs>